Hey, this is John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. And I've got another question here for you today. And this question is from Sarah. And this question is, uh, is from uh, after she's watched or, or listened to one of the podcast episodes that, that I was on. Uh, so Sarah says, hey John, I was just introduced to your blog yesterday after you're on Developer T and I've been blown away. I'm really looking forward to reading soft skills and I've been pouring over Simple Programmer, lots of good information on there. I've got a question related to remote work. Uh, I'm pretty new to programming since the end of 2013 and very new to doing so professionally less than six months. I really enjoy my current job but I'm looking to relocate at the end of this year and I can't take this job with me. I love the idea of working remotely, both for the geographic and time freedoms that it can afford. However, my primary goal in these first few years is to learn as much as possible from more experienced coworkers. Availability of remote jobs for less experienced devs aside, do you think it's better to work in a more regular on-site position to get that learning benefit for a newbie? Thanks, Sarah. So Sarah, this is kind of a hard question. I think, you know, I've worked both on site and remotely. Uh, I've been mostly remotely. In fact, I, obviously now I just work by myself, you know, <laughs> and I don't really talk to anyone. Uh, but, uh, but with your situation, I've never been a new developer with the opportunity to work remotely. In fact, you know, as you said, it's probably hard to find remote working jobs. So you might even have difficulty doing that because what you'll find a lot of times is companies don't really want to hire someone to work remotely unless they're sure of their experience and ability and that they, they can work unassisted. So, you know, just, just thinking of it from the employer's perspective, that's kind of a hint to the advice that I would give you, which is it is going to be difficult to get mentorship. You know, in all of the remote working jobs that I've done, I've pretty much just worked by myself and haven't really had, you know, I've tried to set up sort of chat programs where we could talk together in a room and that really hasn't worked out. What it tends to be is that you have a few Skype calls with people during the day. Maybe you do some pair programming and in, in that case, you know, you could get some mentorship, but it's nothing really like a, a physical environment where you're working with multiple developers. Now, with that said, here's another thing to consider, right? Every time I've been into the office working, you spend like, you know, in a, in a lot of environments, especially if it's social, you spend maybe like two to three hours just going and, and talking in front, of the, in front of the water cooler, right? So, so I'd say here that, you know, you gotta consider that as well, right? If you're working remotely, you're probably going to be spending a lot more time actually working, which could really help you to develop your career. Um, if you're really seeking out the mentorship though, then, then you're gonna have to sort of find that balance. So I, I would say, you know, to kind of sum it up, if you're gonna work remotely and that remote team is going to implement pair programming and you're gonna be spending at least four to five hours a day pairing with someone who's more senior than you, then that's probably gonna work out uh, you know, you're, you're not going to be able to interact with as many people, but you're probably going to get a lot more work done. You're probably going to get a lot more experience in a quicker amount of time. But if you're not in that environment and you're in an environment where they kind of cut you loose and, and you're just, you know, on your own, supposed to work, and then you're, you're hoping that you're going to be able to communicate with people on the team to sort of up your skills and get the mentorship, that's probably not going to work out as well. So, you know, in your condition in, or in your case, <laughs> in your condition, um, I would I would probably recommend that you try to find an on-site job if you can, because, it, you know, again, another thing to consider really just, you know, aside from, from, from the question you asked with remote work is a, a lot of teams that I've worked on remotely, they have a high turnover and, and it's because people just go stir crazy, you know, sitting by themselves at their, at their desk. You know, I know I have to kind of adapt to that. Whenever I go out to a conference or something, I just talk everyone's ears off because I'm, I'm so, you know, isolated by myself. So consider that as well. But uh, thanks for the question. I think that's a good question. I think a lot of people probably have wondered that, uh, you know, obviously if you can get a remote job though, that's, it's, it's highly sought after. A lot of developers would like to be able to get a remote job so, that, I mean, there's a few things to tackle there, but thanks for the question. And uh, if you have a question, just email me at john at simpleprogrammer.com. 
And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it. We're getting pretty close to, I think maybe by the time this is published, we'll have 4,000 subscribers. And the goal for this year is to hit 10,000. So if you find uh, you know this useful as well, don't forget to share the video as well. That, that would, uh, I would appreciate it. So take care.